Hello and welcome to episode 22, and I'm not talking about the 22 that scrambles around your brain, but I'm talking about episode 22 of Fang and a Bang with Gangrel and Kid Cadet, and today, uh, for the first time, actually it's our first guest ever, oh uh, we have Mr. You want to introduce him? Because I know you're a big... Uh, you, it would be my honor. All right. Dude. We are so pleased to welcome, for the first time, like you said, our first guest to Fangin' and Bangin', Ariel Levy, ladies and gentlemen. Yay! Yes. Ariel, <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm proud to be your first guest ever. This is exciting. Uh, I'm excited uh, and honored, too. And um, Wow, so uh, I don't even know where to start. So you're, you're Chilean. I'm Chilean. Right, right? Yes, so now you're here living in, in the United States of yes. America, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, you are an actor. You are a musician, yes, and you are now a pro wrestler. Yes. Is there anything else we missed? Um, I'm sure we did because you seem to be a man of a lot of things. I mean, yeah. No, you covered it. No, you're fine. Okay, we're fine. There's more though. I can tell there's a little <laughs> yeah, yeah, more yeah, to a little it. bit, but yeah. hidden talent. But well, I, I started uh, doing comedy recently. Oh yes, stand up comedy. Yes, yeah. I did know that. How's yeah. that going for you? Uh, really cool. Yeah, I, it was. I mean, I, I've only done it twice now, uh, and in a very friendly environment. So, <laughs> that, I'm, I'm, I'm still testing the waters, you know. Yeah, I, I uh, tried my hand at it. It's it's tough. It it's is very tough. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah, that's exciting. Wow. So, all right. Well, let's just rewind this. Like, like I'm gonna rewind it because I'm slow and I don't. I, I jump all over the place. So let's take it back. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go to the young Ariel in Chile. All right. Okay. So what age? Uh, um, what age you started acting or wrestling? Which one came first? The acting no, acting, 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 acting. Acting, okay. So you started acting? Like, uh, well, I, I've been acting my whole life, but professionally, I started when I was 19. Mm-hmm. I did the, my first movie called The Green Inferno. I mean, no, no, The Green oh. Inferno. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, let me like Rewind again. My <laughs> first movie was uh, Promedio Rojo. I'm sorry. A rojo. Yeah, Promed- when I was 19, okay. Promedio Rojo or Promedio rojo. Uh, Failing Race. race. Okay. Failing Race was the name in in, in, in the, the translation. And let me get this right. So that was your first movie in 19. How old are you now? I'm 37. 37. And you have done 44 movies? Yeah. Oh, my god. 44. Gosh. But yeah, but I cannot name them all right now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, that's what we were going to quiz you on next. Oh, so, okay. So, okay, yeah. So I was 19 and that movie was like a, a teenage comedy like romance comedy yeah yeah it was like a so i played the nerdy kid i was i was very fat when i was a teenager so well, you I have got, abs now yeah. i've seen them so. <laughs> <laughs> you're a wrestler now brother you're a wrestler now. I, 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 got, I, got, I got cast because of i was overweight and because i was a, a, really? a very geeky guy like i like i sh- i like wrestling and movies and uh, I should have done my homework. I should have went back. But there's so many movies when you pull yeah, his name yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. If you go out there and, and you pull up his name, Ariel Levy, you will see <laughs> that it, there's, there's so many movies. Yeah. But the the, the the most one, well, the one I've watched and I know is The Green in front. Yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why. But I don't want to get to The Green in front. I'm going to cover the wrestling first. And, or, or do you want to go over to movies? For, you I want? say let's stick to movies and then we'll Oh, yeah. we'll do the movies. Yeah, right, yeah right, let's right, do right, the right, movies. Like, I'm a wrestling guy, but the movie was cool. Yeah. All right, so yeah. Green Inferno Green with Inferno. Uh, your guy that you love and adore. Oh, uh, absolutely. Yeah, uh, Eli Roth. Eli? Eli Roth. Obsessed. Eli Roth. My boy. Bird you. Yeah, he's one of the best like writers and directors, I think, of our generation. And I I mean, Gangrel and I, and especially because, you know, this is Spooky Month. We felt like you were the perfect guest for this month, seeing as Green sure. Inferno, Eli Roth. D- did he both write and direct the movie, or was yeah, it... Yeah, I think so. so no, 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 no Eli, Eli Roth. He, oh, he, yeah, I yeah, believe yeah. so. And story, produced, too. Yeah, produced, right. Yeah. So how did this project come to be? Because yeah. you said, you know, initially you were playing a different type of character, and now here you are, a horror star. Yeah, so, okay... Going back, like when I did the Green Inferno, uh, the Green Inferno, <laughs> like going back, but when I did Promedio Rojo, this movie or uh, Failing Greats, that was the English title. So the director came to present the movie in South by Southwest in uh, Austin, yes, Texas. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So um, and Eli was, I think, presenting Hostel Two. I, I'm not sure if it was oh, yeah. Hostel oh, One or okay. Two. Yeah, one of them. I, I, I don't remember if it was Ooh. One or Two. They're scary to hostels. I've yeah. talked about being terrified. Oh, yeah. We've talked about that on here. We, have. we? we sure have. I mean, that's, that's my biggest fear. That's what kept me from going partying in, in Europe anymore. 
I was so scared I'd get on a train and wake up in a different country. <laughs> I'd leave with this group games. of people. Then I watched Hostel and I said, oh, hell no. This ends now. I am not waking up and getting my eyeball bubbled out on like <laughs> burnt yeah. out with a blowtorch or, <sighs> or my testicles yanked off so somebody can have them for <laughs> breakfast or, or whatever you can imagine in these hostels that happen. So, all right. So, don't I, I see what so, I mean. I'll pull you away from things. They, so. they met <laughs> South by Southwest. Yeah, they met there, uh, Nicolas and uh, Eli. And they really like each other's work. Like, he really liked Romeo Rojo and blah, blah, blah. Cool. So they became friends. And fast forward, like, five five years after uh, 2010. And we did, uh, again, I worked with Nicolas in a movie called Que Pena Tu Vida or F My Life. That was it. F uh, My Life. I can fucking relate with that. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 Eli really, really, really liked it. Really, really liked me. Uh, really liked like how because he was very like it looked like a like a romantic comedy, very like like a blockbuster film. And it was it did very good in Latin America and Chile yeah. specifically. Uh, so it looked like a big movie, but it was really like us working in our houses and some restaurants that. Belong to France, you know. It oh. was very like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, like like things are done now, but but this is 2010 where everything was higher budget and stuff. Yes. So um, Eli was like, oh, I cannot. Be- I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm gonna go down to Chile and we're gonna make a movie. And we did a movie called Aftershock, where Eli uh, Eli wrote. Oh, oh crap! I think I Nic- saw that. Nicolas, oh, yeah. <laughs> Nic- okay. Nicolas directed it. And I was one of the, and, and Eli also is one of the leading characters, along with me. So, of course, we shared, and we went to a city called Valparaíso in Chile. We stayed there for like two weeks because it's, it's uh, a... Right, you could explain it that Aftershock, because I know I just watched that somewhere. Yeah, okay. I, yeah, no, I did, because I, I like Eli Roth. And, yeah, and yeah, I think yeah. that's why I, I watched the movie. He wrote it and yeah. produced it and, and also works in it like as an actor. And yeah. and we became very good friends, of course, because we were sharing like and and I was a fan as an actor too because of Inglorious Bastards. Oh yeah, nah, he's nah. sensational. I was there for that. the uh, he did when when you do a Q and A. They what is that when they premiere the film? They uh-huh. show you the yeah, film. Yeah. When I was living in L.A., so that's when I first met him. Oh, you yeah. did. Oh, yeah, the Glorious Bastards. He came and he did the whole. Yeah. Uh, hey, you ask him the questions. What were you thinking with this scene? There's different things, you know, like is he the whatever bear, it's called. The I don't know the Jew? Hollywood term. The name? Bear Jew. Bear Jew. Bear Jew. Yes. Yeah. Legendary yeah. Bear Jew. Oh. Yeah. So, um, so of course, <laughs> me being a Jewish kid, I was like a hero. Yeah. You know? <laughs> like a hometown people. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, we became very good friends during Aftershock. Aftershock. I, I don't know if you can find it on, on, on Netflix yeah. or, or. They're getting friends. It, it's on it's somewhere because I yeah. saw it. I, so, I saw it's it. a movie about uh, this um, American guy, Eli, who comes to meet his uh, Chilean friends that they, they met in a, in a trip to Israel. <laughs> mm-hmm. They were both Jewish. So, they, they met there, and, and so he invites him to Chile to hang out and have fun. And suddenly, an uh, air. Earthquake strikes. Yeah, and uh, everything goes to hell. Chaos that, ensues. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, we had uh, we had fun making that movie. We we became very good friends. Uh, we like, and he gladly invited me to be part of his next project. Mm-hmm. That was the Green Inferno. Do well, you, you think you can get him to invite me to lunch? Oh sure. <laughs> 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 He's like, wait, wait, wait. Now he's no, moving. No, no, no. Let's, let's, <laughs> let's go to an LA. I, uh, I'm always, I'm in, I'm in LA, LA next week. I'll call him. Come on me to Burbank. Okay. I'm in Burbank Tuesday. Let's go. I'm at Burbank Tuesday, San Diego Wednesday, Thursday. I want to go. So. <laughs> like, you know. yeah. I love lunch. So, so that's great. So you 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 you've uh, built a, a friendship, a bond with Eli uh, Roth, yes. your your childhood hero, the Bear Jew. Yeah. And so <laughs> this is with aftershock, and it's a Chilean. It was filmed in Chile, yes. and all that. So now you got that. Now you've done other films. Now we're gonna fast forward it here. Boom. Let's give us some insight on how the Green Inferno came along. Okay. Yes. So this is what you, kids, ladies, men, dudes, whatever, vampires. This is on Netflix right now, currently, because yes. I did watch it yesterday. Yes, great movie, <laughs> great movie to watch during Halloween, Halloween season. Um, season. Yeah, but 
just just if you don't have a strong stomach. Like, 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 so I mean, it's not like it's not a movie to watch during lunch. You know, it, it is a gore movie. <laughs> I mean, but it, it just goes to credit the special effects people in this movie oh, yeah. because it looks awesome. so real. And this is 2013, right? The Green Inferno 420. Yeah, it was done during uh, December 2012 until like February 2013. I remember 13. 13 is a good number. So, yeah. um, all right. So, so how, did, how did this come along? Yeah. Okay. So af uh, after Aftershock. <laughs> after Aftershock. Uh, Eli started working on, uh, on on the Green Inferno and and he invited me to be part of the, of the cast as Alejandro. Alejandro, the lead. The lead. Well, the, lead the, the lead, lead man. man. Yes. The lead man. Yeah. And... Um, and uh, f the first day of shooting was here in New York. Mm -hmm. We did some uh, some scenes outside Columbia Columbia University. Yes, yes, that's where you were the uh, megaphone yes. and you're rallying things yes. to troops. To... And and then all of the rest of the the rest of the shooting was in uh, in the actual Amazon in in Peru. So we actually wow. went to the real place. He wanted, he wanted to go. Were you nervous? Uh, yes, of course I was. I mean, <laughs> first of all, I, I, I was scared. I was nervous and scared because it was my first like. Well, let me ask you. So, was it much like the boat, like in the movie? The boat comes in, they got to pee, right? Somebody has to go to the restroom, and uh -huh. they pull in there and they, they go to hand them a machete and then a gun for the snakes and stuff like that. Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. that kind of crazy stuff going on. I mean, yeah, you see a lot of like bugs and snakes, and uh, but you can get you get no tarantulas on your penis though. Cause no, I, I saw that happen. Yeah, yeah. But you get you get pretty used to it. I, I got, tarantulas on your penis? You no, used no, to no, 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 no. But you get pretty used to like seeing spiders everywhere. I will snakes, never get used to seeing spiders. No. Lizards, yes. you know. Never. Well, at least you have lizards. Too. The lizards. I get used to the lizards. <laughs> where, where did you guys stay? We stayed in a lodge. It was like a really nice Amazon lodge, oh. but we had to wake up every day at 5 a.m. in the morning, take a boat. No, first we took a van ride, like an hour van ride to a port. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and we took a the boat dock, yeah. and we took like an hour and a half boat ride to the actual village where we where we did all the crazy so You scenes. already got a long day in before you mm, start. Yes. And I've been on sets and I've been done a lot of things, but. Those days are a long period, even if you just show right up to set. That could, be a, that could be an 8 to 12 to 15 hour day. You know, and we of. had to wrap every day at Four five, 5 a.m. because there was no there was no electricity. So, there, there was so you no, couldn't work into the dark. Yes. And there was there was no. No, we. we so the the dark, the the dark uh, scenes at the village were shot in Santiago in Chile, yes, in, my, in my hometown. Okay. Uh, we faked the the village there, like in a, in a oh. so you stay yeah. studio. Exactly. That, that's a studio. Like all, all, only the night scenes in at the village only were, the were fake. Okay. The the day scenes at the village were all like so you had two real two villages. The real the deal. one there, the real deal. They're in a daytime filming, yes. but any nighttime shots were done in Santiago, Chile. Yes, because hometown. there was there was no. Because they know that's your hometown, Santiago. Yes. Right. yes, Santiago. Because there was no electricity at that village. Wild. And 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 the boat rides you don't you don't have like street, uh, lights. river yeah, lights yeah, you yeah, know, <laughs> at, the, know. At, the, at the Amazon and 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 when when there are like and storms tropical storms or whatever like everything changes all the roads change all the like all right. course of the river so sometimes it takes it, it took us like an hour to get uh, to the village sometimes it took us two hours mm -hmm. everything changes and, down and, there and. So, uh, Awesome and crazy and, and and Eli Roth was there right there. Of course, he was. He yes, be. yes, 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 yes. On that all day, every day. So how was that? Like uh, to work under like he was that awesome. as the main as 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 a lead yeah, lead yeah. character, lead roles, and leading yeah, okay, man. So that was. I'm gonna ask you how is that the pressure, all that like. Well, it was very different because I met him. Yeah, cause this is a different scene. I met him as an actor, like, aftershock, as yeah. a partner, like an, yeah. like an acting partner in an yeah. aftershock. So then yeah. it was like, okay, how is it gonna be now? And and of course, you watch his his uh work and you're like this because it, the, the the advertise for the advertising for his movies is always like eh, from the twisted mind of yeah, like Roth. Yeah. So he was yeah. like oh is this guy gonna, gonna ask me to like cut myself or, or something like i don't know <laughs> but you didn't know what you were in for but no but he's a really like businessman like mm -hmm. you know he, he knows what he wants he asks you to do it like okay. but but he's not he's not like a weirdo or anything well, you know was he the one to come up with 
putting the marijuana down the dead girl that killed herself to yeah, go to the village yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. everything <laughs> or me jerking off to release this well thing. yes I forgot about that the pressure <laughs> you to, you it. I want to point that while you were while <laughs> that, you, that's my Oscar clip why right? were you were doing that <laughs> why you were doing that the other guy started choking and you still didn't stop through of the whole course. choke scene until they put spears at you <laughs> so that got a little like um I was going, wait a minute, they're covering a lot of uh, things right here. They're into some fetish stuff. <laughs> like, yeah, you know, know, like, like, like you do know that like Michael Hutchings and guy like that's that, basically. David Carradine, they all passed away doing similar things so, with belts like that. Yeah. <laughs> so remember the this guy that created the the ice bucket challenge mm -hmm. that he went nuts? Yeah, he had like yeah, I forget what disease he had, but yeah. So but but so I don't know, maybe it wasn't the guy that created the, the ice bucket challenge, but a guy that created He, so a guy cre it was like a so this movie uh, of course is a horror film and stuff but he also makes fun of, of all these like activists or slacktivists oh, okay, yeah, you know yeah. all right, right. so you're taking jabs so stuff. there was a guy who really went who created a challenge online uh, to re to Real. to to make money for some charity stuff and he became crazy and they found him like in the street running naked Okay. And, so and yeah, this is this is the thing. You're so making. so we were making fun. Oh, oh yeah. Sorry. So oh, we were making fun of. of, of Just don't rub my feet while you're talking about jerking off. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing footsie so, with me. Let's talk about it. It was, he was based on the, on that guy. So oh. what what would you say was the most difficult day on set for you? Because like you said, you're in the Amazon. Oof. You know, you have Every pretty day. crazy hours. Yeah. Was there a day that stood above the rest that was was a tough day for shooting? Mm, every day was really tough because of the heat costumes the box like inside that that cage because the the rest of the guys because mo most of the movie were were inside this this cage mm -hmm. and most of the guys were running around i mean walking around the cage and inside and stuff but i was sitting squatting i noticed you squatted yeah, I, I was sitting in in one of the corners just looking at these guys and and there was a lot of grass around me and all these grass has a lot of bugs so they were beating the biting, shit out yeah, yeah. biting oh, the God. shit yeah, yeah. all the all <laughs> all day long not to and mention how hard it was like i don't know if we, you, we couldn't see it because you know how they hide things but it looked like you were squatting most of the time just squatting yes you know? yes yeah, it's so hard because your legs go to sleep you know it's not in there. yeah uh, so every day was every very day. very hard but but yeah but for me it was harder like Not the, the 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 scenes at the village weren't that because we were we we're basically reacting, seeing all the madness happening around us. Uh, so for me, it was like the the actual acting. Oh, the the the, the plane accident. Oh, that scenes. was the most intense. Yeah, that was crazy. The plane was... accident scenes were very very stressful because we were inside like a, this fake plane. He was turning upside and down. He was turning yeah, upside, upside down, down all day yeah. long, all day long. Going. All day long. Yes, yes. It was, How it was, many days did it take to do that? Yeah, it was a day of shooting. A whole oh, day, day of that, all the day inside. long. Inside, oh. yeah. So, that was an intense so, plane. Yeah. That was like, they, when they were, I was like, whoa, that was like super. So you get super. very yeah. dizzy. Oh, yeah. And I then, can't uh, even imagine. Then the propeller comes and uh, it's like, it's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> I remember all of it. I just watched it. Yeah, yeah, it was fresh in his mind. And the, the other guy gets a pail through his head, through the neck, back. You guys are like, Ooh, ah, don't look at it. Like, do, keep moving. do you have a favorite death? A favorite I I love when the... Um, Uh, I I love the first guy they eat, like the the eyeballs, Jonah, the eyeballs, eyeballs. The character Jonah, yeah, I I, I love that. I, I think that's the most shocking part mm. of the film. How much and and the guy that get gets eat by ants? Oh yeah, the ants. Oh, uh -huh. I love the ants. Yeah, yeah. Like but the little the, the uh, well, I don't want to give everything away, but, but well, yeah. they're gonna You're watch it. The entire yeah. film. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much was really you when? You said that you were glad they ate the other guy first because he was heavy, the big guy. <laughs> How much of that was really you? Because I know when they say you play a role, a lot yeah. of times it's just an extension of you. Now, I know you personally through through wrestling with CCW. Yes. yes. Uh, we've, we've spent some time together, and, and we'll cover the wrestling here in a minute and everything. But, like, so I, I see you this and this and that, and I go, well, that, that might be something you would think inside. Yes, yes. It's like I have a very dark sense of humor, yeah, and that's yeah. definitely something yeah. I would say. It, it, it was written by Eli, but 
but it's yeah, yeah. definitely something I would say. I think <laughs> I think you were perfect uh, for that and uh, that character and everything. And it's a Green Inferno. Um, do you want to break it down and then we'll get on to? I'm gonna go to the wrestling stuff. Here, well, so. I was gonna say kind of before before we do that. I think one of the cool things, and like you mentioned, you got to watch it again on Netflix, and we were talking before this, there's a huge resurgence of this film now. It's doing really yeah. well on the streaming services. So I think you initially mentioned there was a possibility at the time for a sequel. Yeah, I mean, we all, we actually teased it in the the credits of the film. Like, where, like well, they, when it happens, I'll definitely be there to watch it. I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to say I expect how you, uh, I expect the... Uh, premiere invite oh of course but, <laughs> is that what that was like what, what is this so they were yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. so we yeah, yeah, yeah. yes so we they, they were there were plans of doing like a sequel making a sequel but but yeah it didn't do that well on on the box office like and and back then everything was uh, box, box office. office what i've learned in la nothing's dead they yeah get it always is always but, <laughs> but now it's it, it, i mean I came here just to work as a wrestler. I mean, not just to work, sorry, uh, but, but I came here and I was just working as a wrestler. And I met a lot of people who were like, who, who asked me, so you're an actor too? Yes. What, what movies did you? And I was like, The Green Inferno. What? I love that film. Blah, blah. It, it's cult status. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's really, it has this like revival because of Netflix. Well, yeah, and, well, and maybe possibly something like this. And this is just putting it out there. Netflix has, has it on there. They may see how well do. They yeah, do their yeah, own yeah. films oh, and yeah, they yeah, next yeah, thing yeah. you know the, the sequel could be so, from yeah. Netflix for Netflix. It would be know. awesome to make the the sequel. I don't know. Maybe I'm too old now for the Not <laughs> <laughs> Are you look the same? Yeah, I think you look the same. Or they can they can do like the, I don't know. I, I think you're possibly in better shape than you were when you found that. So like So and if if you do do the remake it doesn't say how many years or whatever, whatever it goes. We who knows how they go back with remake. Age is not a factor. It may go years ahead, like yeah. five or ten exactly. years into the like you but, know, upwards and current exactly. into current. Yeah. yeah, it would be awesome if if they pick up like the, the sequel. That that would be great. But and people always ask me like about about that, like because we tease it. So oh, they, they're like, so you, wh wh where can I find the second part? No, we never did it. <laughs> yes. So I mean, look, yet. Okay, yeah, anything no, is possible, course. Eli. If you're watching. <laughs> looking at you we know you probably already wrote it netflix if you're watching too let's make it happen but um, i think gang girl you kind of wanted to transition you know from actor uh, to wrestler I, yes I, yeah let's uh, uh get off all the cannibalism Do we have to? <laughs> and, and the dark sarcasm of alejandro yes. uh, <laughs> in the green inferno but tremendous uh movie i'm i'm not a big in cannibal movies and you stuff know. like that well no i get creeped out by like the wrong turns and all that maybe because i, I travel to I mean, there a lot but i don't plan on going out to the amazons of peru or yeah, the rainforest in peru or we watch all the the cannibal ferox and cannibal holocaust oh yeah i i enjoyed this and I, and I watched it all the way through and i actually rewound some stuff so i could hear the dialogue so mm -hmm. so it wasn't just um a slash him, eat him, gork type of thing. There was dialogue. There was a storyline, and uh, I quite enjoyed it. Good job, man. They did a great job. Thank you. Yeah, and, thank, and, and you did a phenomenal uh, job. So and um, and then I'll recommend it to people. I will, so I, Netflix, I check it out. Netflix, yeah, check it out. Green Inferno <laughs> with Ariel Levy. Um, so, how much longer after that? So when did the wrestling start for you? Uh, well, pro was, wrestling. We're gonna talk pro wrestling. Yes, of course. So, yeah. uh, so I was always a fan in 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 back in in. in my childhood in Chile, I started watching like around '96. Do you remember 96. like some of the first wrestlers that you watched of that course. inspired you to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like uh, it was it was '96. We only we only got WWF back then. Uh -huh. uh, it was '96, so it was like um, Sean Brad Taker uh -huh. was one of, uh -huh. one of Raymond, my favorites. Raymond, like that. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> and 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 then, but then of course, uh, who got me hooked was uh, Stone Cold. Oh, okay. Stone Cold. Good choice. Huh? Yeah. Right. Good choice. I'm about to explain some of your style of work. <laughs> <laughs> My sloppy punch. No, oh, not sloppy. No, don't say that. Don't say that. And th but and then erratic, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> like, Thank not sloppy you. though. Yeah. So then, um, uh, and then of course it got huge during the other era when you came along. Oh, that's course. a great time to be part of yeah, pro yeah, wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it got huge in Chile too, but then it like faded away, and it became like a more like a uh, underground stuff but i always okay. went but but of course i always went and 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 got like 
ECW tapes and Japan tapes. Uh, to study? Like bootleg. Like, no, just to watch. Okay. Because I, I was a fan. I was always a fan. And I never thought about becoming a wrestler because we had no, like, wrestling, real wrestling scene in Chile. Like, mm. the only time that, that, that wrestling, Chilean wrestling was on TV was during the 70s. Like, that was, like, the golden age of Chilean wrestling. Mm. And... So then I became an actor and I started like having, I had my band, it's called Don Nadia. You can check it out on Spotify if you want. And that's, and yeah, your band, much like Jericho, you come out to your own music. Yes. Right, that you oh, write cool. and sing. Yes. Yeah, right, so. Yes. so if you're at a CCW show and you come out and you see, uh, what do you, uh, the South American? South American Alliance. South American Alliance, him and, and the big guy. Uh, Vinicius. Uh, Vinicius. My right? brother. All right, his brother, his brother in arms. You can hear the music, know that music was written by Ariel Levy and his oh, band great. himself. Yeah, yes. he plays himself. So now, okay. So, yeah, so, of course, I started acting and I kept watching wrestling, but I never shared my love of pro wrestling with anyone because everyone... It's all gone the, all the actors, by now. Yes, right? and all the actors thought it was hokey, and like yeah. every time I mentioned it, it was like, not hokey. I was like, yeah, but I, just, <laughs> I, agree. Just, I just, I agree. I'm I'm just, just saying. I mean, I love them both. It's, it's, I'm just this is not what I think. It's what right. like I'm just people saying, like, I'm like, like I'm not high, <laughs> high, highly like I, praise actors. They're like oh, pro wrestling, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but okay, uh, but well, I kept I kept my love for it for it like. Like just to me, I didn't share it with anyone. But one day, I was after, after I became a well-known actor there and a successful actor. Thank God there. Uh, I went to the to this like um, uh, very very popular TV show, uh, like and there were uh, it was an interview and they asked me like, so you always wanted to be an actor when you were a kid? And I was like, actually no, actually my dream was to become a pro wrestler, but. Here I am, like yeah. you know, and th uh, a couple guys were putting uh, were, were putting together like a project, new project for a, for a new like company, Chilean wrestling company. Like oh, they, wow. they wanted to make it big, you know. Uh, it's called CNL, Campeonato Nacional de Lucha, Chile. Okay, CNL, yes, Chile. And and um and they like they saw that interview and were like, oh, okay, so this guy is like. Famous actor. He wants to be. Uh, he loves wrestling. Oh, so makes sense. Uh, so no they way. they contacted me on on Twitter. Back when Twitter was a thing. And it's <laughs> no thing. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> back when MySpace was. I don't. I don't use MySpace. That. My, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm more of a, on on Photolog. No. So <laughs> <laughs> it was Twitter. Twitter. And they Twitter. and they uh, and so they DM me like, Hey Ariel, we know you love. Uh, we we heard you love wrestling, and we would like to invite you to our show and be like an ambassador for for the brand, the company. Yeah. And I was like, Cool guys, but. Why won't we do something else? Like why don't why, why don't you use me like a celebrity guest or something like like what they do on WWE? And they were like, "Really? Would you be open to do that?" And I was like, "Sure, guys, let's do it." So they invited me to one of their training sessions. And I started so I started training with them and of course I bonded with all of them because they all loved wrestling and I never met guys that love wrestling as much as I did. Hmm. And we became very good friends, and I started training, 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 right. training. And of course, the first day, the first for the for their first show, I came out and cut a promo, and all the people booed the shit out of me. Yeah, it's a good rush, though, isn't it? What? Yeah, that's great. What were you? Because are you a baby face or you? No, no, wait, because <laughs> I knew because of the reaction online when I when I I did a video like, hey, I'm gonna be on CNL, blah blah blah. All the wrestling fans over here. What this guy? That guy has to do with wrestling is a phony actor. Blah blah blah. TV guy. Blah, blah, blah. You know, wrestling fans, yeah, right? Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's what I'm doing. Right. I'm gonna be the asshole celebrity, like oh, okay. gimmick. That's, that, that, that's who I'm gonna be. So I cut a promo like, "Welcome to CNL, and be grateful now because you're seeing uh, standing in a ring. You're seeing the only star you're gonna see all night." Boo, boo, boo! We want wrestling. You're a phony. Boo, boo, boo. Oh so I got heat. Yeah. And uh, and I got a, a bigger reaction than most of the wrestlers. <laughs> so of course, wow. the the next day I started training for my first match. Oh, good. And then I had my first matches was in 2015. I was 30 years old, and um, of course the, the matches technically is not a good match, but I still got 
great reactions and I, and I drew in attention from 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 TV shows from different markets yeah, yeah the, oh, the wrestling cool. from yeah, like the, the the TMCs of Chile you know and and oh, yeah. and, 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 and newspapers they were writing oh, yeah. stuff uh, I, I, actor Ariel Levy is now a wrestler. He's fighting this guy, so I drew a lot of attention uh, to the to the brand, and it became something cool. Then we brought in um, uh, Sean Waldman. Yeah, I just I just oh. talked to him yesterday because I'm gonna probably see him when I'm in Burbank. Okay, so yeah. he, he made a movie we like too. What's that? Oh, did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it, so Danzig, Danzig directed a film. Oh really? Danzig did Glenn Danzig. Yeah, Mother. from the Misfits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell your children and not to walk my way. Tell you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah Danzig. And he, what they mean what when they say, say yeah. mother. mother. <laughs> like, uh, so he director film and and uh, and Eli and Sean were on, were in it. Huh. That's okay. That's cool. I gotta look, look up. up. Find that. Yeah. Okay, Maybe. so Sean Waldman came and did a show with us, and and we work each other. Like okay. I was a heel, he was a baby face. Yeah. Like, uh, it was a it was a three on three match. It was a six man. He actually reached out to me on Twitter, so he still uses Twitter too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he goes, my so, number's still the same. Man. I go, no, so this is very same. cool. So we, yeah. We're gonna close the circle here because so <laughs> here we go. he was like, of course, I still I, I I was I'm still I still am, but I was green, 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 green. But I still got promos and got reaction, and when I when I so but I, I so i knew what i was doing i guess so he was like kid you have something going on like you, you you're you're a great guy like you 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 have something here mm. so i put him over i mean i, lo I lost the match but he was like i sh you should have won because yeah. i'm leaving and you're Sounds staying like, yeah. so passing the torch yeah your territory you know yeah, so no, you, sh Sean, you should have yeah. yeah he was like Expert, you should have yeah. won the match and i was like oh no i why are you saying you're this? But, 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 but notice all us older guys always tell you that after the match is over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. After you win. Well, after the match is over, we'll always go, kid, you know, they should have put you over. But, God, we, but we don't get to tell you that before the thing and switch it up. <laughs> we'll tell you after. Yeah, like, of course. You know, like. So, unfortunately, he got injured during the oh. match. Is that when he, uh, no, he, that's not what he, no, 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 no. no. He, he's, he's got no, a lot no, of no. injuries. He's, he's much he, like He me. broke uh, an ankle or something. Oh, so, so he was like, let's do something, kid. Let's, tape like a, 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 a video a video where where i'm i'm saying that you like i'm leaving with my with my uh, suitcase and stuff limping and and like uh a, a guy a guy makes a video and yeah. asks me like what's happened what happened to your food and i'm like oh that guy i really love you broke it blah 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 and and suddenly you jump me from behind and kick me kick me kick my ass you know i was like great brother Really? Would you do that for me? And I was like, of course. So we did that video. And at the end of the video, because I gave him as a gift, I brought him a copy of The Green Inferno <laughs> on Blu-ray. Because it was back when the movie just got like on, on, on Blu-ray. So I, so I was like, oh, you know what I'm going to do? After I beat your ass, I'm going to leave you the copy of the film and then say, enjoy my movie. <laughs> That's funny. That's great. So we did that. And, and then he went home and and and, um, and 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 but he always like post and and I asked him for advice and stuff and yeah, he, yeah. he always talks very highly of me so I appreciate yeah. it and um, do you know that uh do you know how deep my ties go with him who do you know how deep my relationship goes with oh I'm sure like we were trained by the same person oh Boris really Franco. yeah oh yeah so I was trained a little bit. Ahead of him, so we used to share. We sleep on the same floors together uh, with Phyllis Lee in Tampa. No, no furniture and run. Just sleeping on bare floors, training all the time. He was like fifteen or fourteen or fifteen, or sixteen. He's really small. So I had already been. I was like two years ahead of him, so I'd been helping all the training. But I've known Sean since he started. So oh, was he like the, the one, two, awesome. three kid? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When I was on his Expect. podcast, it. Uh, they had to make it two parts. He had to cut it off, and we didn't even get out of like 1980, like nine yet, with all that relationship because we came up together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's very good that I to hear, that, like you said, this everything's kind of comes yeah. full, full circle, circle, but that you got a good relationship with him. And it's so funny you I mean, coming on here, and he just just reached out to me like yesterday, like, "Hey, you're gonna be a Burbank? Let's hook up." Yeah. Now you're talking about going to Burbank, so maybe we can all go <laughs> hook up. And you're like, yes. Let's go. So, okay, so then take the show on the road, folks. Then. Of course, the brand became bigger, 
And we start doing a, CN, uh, CNL. CNL. Yeah. Okay. So you, we start do, having a lot of shows, and uh, and and I, of course, it, organically, I became a baby face because they were like, "Oh, he really loves wrestling. He's one of us." You know, he, he's not just this phony actor who comes here yeah. like, just to. So well, you you can understand that like how a lot of people would look at that, right? Oh, so, of course. You know, in wrestling, they 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 go to wrestling school, they get their ass kicked, I basically. Know, of course. Uh, Pin upon the school they go to, what they come up with, the, the squats. I don't know how it is in Chile, but yeah, but I mean, there's many different. Yeah, but I, I never I never had hit with the boys because the boys always liked me because. I was always respectful. Oh, well, you're a smooth talker like Alejandro and, and the girl yeah. in front of uh, you. talk to poor girl. Like no, girl. <laughs> because I was always, like, respectful. I was always respectful. Yeah. I, I was never like, what do you want to do, sir? Like, yeah. okay, whatever you want. Uh, you know, I, I was never like, oh, no, that doesn't work for me. Like, And, and I was always, I, I didn't want to be cheered. I loved when I when I started getting booed because I understood so the wrestling fans It was fans mostly too. the wrestling fans that gave you that. Yeah, of course. Okay. But, but then, then you played up to it, though. You yeah, yeah, I mean, of so. course... Some of the boys right. were like, mm, okay. "What is this guy doing right. here?" But then I, 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 I proved them wrong. Okay. So now we got the brands taken off. All right. So yeah, so the brands taken off, and um, I become this, this baby face. And then by twenty, so then you become the true ambassador of the brand. Yes. The baby face. So yeah. you're in full. And now. I became the now you're full time wrestler. Now. Yeah, more, more than acting, are you leaving acting behind? Over no, wrestling? no, I'm still acting at, at this point. Like 2018. I become the champion of the company and WWE comes to town and they they were hosting the first Latin American tryout in Santiago. Oh, is this where your journey brings you here, right? So, okay, go on. Yeah. So, they were doing the, the and I get invited to the tryout and I was like, yeah. oh, this can be like an actual thing. Now. Yeah. I mean, it's not like only my side fun stuff to do yeah right sure. so now your actual your because childhood, because, childhood dreams about because it. all these moments the brand is taking off i'm the champion stuff but i'm not i'm not making any money right what's well, wrestling, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, wrestling. Right. so yeah no, <laughs> that's how it is fun. i'm having a lot of fun i love the wrestling but, not in wwe yeah, yeah no, you know, no. like, it's wrestling but suddenly i get invited to the truck what happens like i'm defending the belt in a in a ladder match i drop the ed <laughs> the elbow of the ladder but the ladder mm. slips, and I land awkward, and my shoulder comes. Dislocated? Yeah. Dislocated shoulder. Dislocated, fractured, dislocated, everything. Yeah. Well, so I missed the tryout, and uh, of course I was like... Bummed. Bummed depressed. and depressed. Yeah. And, and but hurt. They, they, yeah. yeah, but they were like, stay in contact with us. Like, if, if you feel healthy, like, reach out to us, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. And... Um, so I, I moved to Mexico because of acting the next Ooh. year. I moved, I moved to Mexico. Um, and I start feeling better. I start working, working out, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I was like, oh, okay, let's see what happens. So I emailed right. Canyon Seaman, who was uh, the guy in charge. The guy in charge back then. He got fired like a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. So I sent him an email. So I'm healthy now. I feel great, blah, blah. blah. And I'm in Mexico, so I'm closer to you guys now. So let me know mm. what, what happened. So like, oh, are you available to come here for a tryout on December? I'm like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am, <laughs> actually. And so I came for, I had my WWE tryout at the Performance Center. So we, in, in it, I, it was better because I got to... It's a crazy place that yeah i got center. to be in the performance area yeah it's and, uh, beautiful weight rooms yes. yeah, upstairs downstairs like five six seven rings something like that yeah, it's it insane five or six yeah. yeah yeah different parts of the building so and yeah. but before that i wanted to get some american style training right. so i came to that that's the first time i came to ccw that's, CCW. that's when i okay. when i met all the boys and okay boom boom boom, and <laughs> boom so i had the tryout and it went pretty well uh, they really like my personality. Didn't I briefly meet you then, like at one point at CCW? No, no sir, you weren't there. Maybe it was the other little guy. Maybe because there was somebody there from Chile. I mean, uh, oh yeah, yeah, probably there was somebody in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm. I, I have the tryout. I did pretty well. They really liked my personality, so they asked me if I wanted if I was open on doing something else other than wrestling for them. And I was like, for sure, because they were they were planning on doing like NXT Latin America back then. Right. Mm -hmm. and but then and they were they were planning on going everywhere they were going to do one in like yeah. everywhere like every like like yeah but then all the different countries covid happened mm. 
and mm-hmm. that it changed the whole postpone. World. So yeah, so I was so al- I already decided that 2020 was gonna be like my wrestling year. <laughs> it was mine too. I was yeah. the same way. So I had so, I was so gonna, much big plans in 2020. <laughs> I was gonna stop acting for a while, and I was gonna focus on wrestling because of, if if the WWE sees something in me, it means like maybe I can do something here, right? Mm-hmm. And um, so I start approaching like bookers here, bookers uh, in Latin America. La, la, la. I have I have a dates in I have dates for Tampa last year that well, that was supposed to be uh, Mania WrestleMania weekend. last year. So I got I get bookings for for that WrestleMania weekend. I get bookings mm-hmm. in Peru. I got bookings in Puerto Rico. But of course, because of COVID, everything get canceled. And I was again sad and depressed because acting died too during covid in chile so i was like what the hell am i gonna do and nelio nelio yep. CCW, yeah. ccw's ccw chairman <laughs> i just don't honor him and danny yeah, 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 yeah him and dan so except danny's been we, 17 years when, I, when I, I yes but yeah. we, when i be when i when i went came here we we bonded like right away we became really good friends right away mm-hmm. he was just a trainee back then he wasn't the owner of the company yet. So I start texting him like, hey, how's it going? How are the things going there? And he was like, great, man. We have a lot of tapings and shows coming up. And I was like, you really? So you're working shows and work in, in, in training and stuff? Yeah, man. It's Florida. Why don't you come? <laughs> but safely, too, we should mention. Safely, yeah. 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 <laughs> so November last year, I decided to come. And from Mexico? From no, from Chile. I was oh, I went back to Chile. Yeah, I went back to okay. Chile okay, before. Back to Chile. After the tryout, I went back, back to, Chile. to Chile. Yeah, and I came here to Florida, and I worked. Uh, I started working with the CCW guys. Mm. Uh, I am uh, one half of the tag team champions with the South American Alliance. Congratulations! Ooh, that's exciting. Yes, alongside my my brother Vinicius, the the Brazilian destroyer, and our manager is the manager of champions, Bill Alfonso, Up and the whistle. Yes, <laughs> I did. Uh, Fonzie, Fonzie. Yeah. I've been, been in. Uh, years. I've been in AEW Dark two times, and I had another WWE tryout back in May. Uh, so let's see what happens. Like so I'm, I'm having fun. I'm training with the best Andrew over here. <laughs> yeah, at the uh, CCW training facility, Pompano yeah. Beach. Yeah, so yeah, we're you know if you ever want to be a professional wrestler, yes. come on down, go to CCW facilities yes, on please. Instagram, and, and check it out or reach out. To yes, it. and check out our, our shows because uh, things are live. Yeah, CCW. we're we're getting we're getting pretty. We, we have something going on, I yeah. think. So, um, so so okay. So you're here. You're you're one half of the uh, tag team champions. Yes. Um, you continue in your training. You're yeah, you're, you're uh, this and that. Well, where, where is the wrestling company in Chile now? Are they still? CNL? Yeah, are they yeah, closed they, no, or open? No, 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 no. You can check it out. Like, we, we did, like, a great... Just before I came, uh, October last year, we did, like, a, um, a closed set mm-hmm. a season for ah, YouTube. Cause... And and we got, like, sponsoring from a, from a beer brand and from an air, okay. a local airline. Ah, very and, good. And, 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 so and you're very active. active. The, the quality of the product is really, really good now. And and they just did like a second season, uh, like uh, a month ago, I think, uh, without the star, but it's okay. So, <laughs> so they're not they're not in your rear view mirror. They're in your windshield still, Chile. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah of okay, course, yeah, of you're course. Still looking forward to driving. Through. That's good. I, w- I would love to go back there and and, and, and work. With, I, I would love to bring Vinicius with me and to bring you for oh. a seminar, like or something. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I, 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 there you I, go. I, I, I definitely want to. Go back there and 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 sh- you're, you're not, show you're not them finished there and, yet. Of course yeah. not. And show them what I've learned here, you know, and make okay. make make the Chilean wrestling scene grow more. Well, you know? Have you ever thought about writing and directing and going back to Chile, maybe producing your own? Yes, uh, yes, right. I've been thinking about it a lot. And 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 actually, maybe you I, could book Eli. He could <laughs> you could direct him. No. <laughs> We're also available. <laughs> So, oh no! Know. Of course, of course. Yeah, but yeah, you and know. The, other, the, the other thing I would love to do is to like make like a, I don't know if a movie or a documentary about about my journey. Yes, from, I from think acting, it's an amazing story. From yeah. acting to pro wrestling. Oh, well, your whole life. If you just uh, yeah. Right from childhood. So uh, even yeah, something like I, I really loved what. Um, well, uh, what's his name? The, the the WCW champion, the actor. 
Oh, David, David Arquette. Arquette. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really love what he did. You can't uh, oh, his movie Arquette. is that uh, you, you can, can kill, kill David. You can kill David. I, I really love yeah, what he we did. Like it too, yeah. So, and I really, I, I felt like some connections with it, with him, <laughs> like becoming the champion. Yeah, becoming no, and being, be, an and being actor. yeah, yeah. The journey was different because it wasn't hot shotted like him, like his. Mm -hmm. Like I, you, you're I grew up, yeah. yeah. But, but well, I was hot shotted in Chile, so here it would be the same effect, no. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I mean, yeah. Hairdo so, thing, but 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 yeah, but I felt like okay. a lot of similarities okay. and and mm, awesome. So before we wrap, to do something like that. Before we wrapped it up, so that's one of your goals. You would love to write, do a documentary, produce and direct your own your life story. You like to do it just yeah. afterward. Um, and then what do you see? All right, so you're in the states, United States now, CCW, have attack team chips. Where is your in game and the pro wrestling world? Would, would it be to to be in WWE to ultimately go there AW, or or, and, no, or do you I see mean, like like yeah I would I would love to I don't care where like of course I grew up as, as a WWE fan mm -hmm. of course so that's like of course I want to be in WrestleMania one day or whatever you mm -hmm. know? so but but um I would love to pay my bills with wrestling mind, well, if that I, makes sense. I, I want to tell you, Sprinkle. I see that happening in CCW. Yeah. I do. I truly think, um, you like you said, although you say there's something there, there's a lot of things there. I think of some right direction and change of some things, um, they definitely can uh, pay your bills and, and wrestle like full I time with CCW. I agree. So that, that's, so, that, so, that's, that's you, what I want. Like, you, and, and, I, and I want to be involved in, in, because... Mm. I don't care if it's wrestling, managing, being a, a, a backstage producer, agent, whatever. Like I, I just want to be involved in the you love all uh, in the, the professional wrestling business. I love everything. I always, I, I, I always hear what you what you say, like and take notes and 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 Dan, and 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 all of the the the, the veterans that that have worked with us, you know, and 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 that's why that and and and. Everything like when when I work at AW Dark, I watch everything like backstage. Oh, how do they wow. do this? How do they produce this? I, I I always keep my eyes open because I I want to be just I don't want to be I don't care if I'm taking bumps or like well like behind a desk or with a mic in my hand. I, You've heard me say this before, and they've heard me say this here too. And I and I and I've got this from Jake and important things because you sit there and you look at everything and you evaluate everything. You got to ask yourself, am I gonna be a mark? Or I'm gonna leave my mark, right? So you're gonna leave your mark, or you're gonna be a mark. So you gotta look and observe all that. Now you've done some beautiful things, and you know that, and you've said that that you're blessed. I've heard you say it with God's help, all that. So you know that you've done some wonderful things. You've done things that people only dream of. Mm -hmm. um, you have a talent that you can make people smile, or they could watch Green Inferno and forget about life for two hours of their day and watch people's eyeballs get eaten and tongues get eaten and chopped up and cooked in a baked easy bake oven. Uh, whatever it is, that's two hours of their day, they're not thinking about how shitty their life is or mm. what drama's going on or what misfortunes are happening in their life. And you're doing it with pro wrestling too. And you're getting out there. And if you're at that show Sunday, you'll see that some of the kids, how happy they were at the end of the show or, or even as, as if you got out there and then people were like, you know, singing through the things and how happy people are for two hours of their life. Yes. It's a true, true gift. So so you're leaving your mark. So just don't get misguided and, and get on some other crazy path worrying about, you know, the WrestleMania is great. I know you want to do it. It's a goal and everything. Oh, but yeah. you're doing beautiful things and just remember that you're a beautiful person and the, the, your smile and the stuff you're doing are going to change other people's lives. Even... If you change one person one day, that one person might save 10 and change 10 lives there. It affects 100, it affects 2,000. And it's just a chain reaction of like tremendous things. So, um, and you're doing great things. And I'm, I'm super happy for you. And what well, little bit I know you and time I spent with you, I'm proud of you. And, uh, and I'm so Thank grateful you. you're here today. We want to oh, hold you up too. forever. We could talk forever, but I know we're limited because we're going to try to squeeze out two damn episodes because I'm unfortunately I'm on the road <laughs> because I will be in Burbank the same uh, next Tuesday when we're filming it's supposed to be here and everything else so man um so glad and, and and happy that you're in my life and and 
and your brother Vinicius oh, <laughs> and, yeah. and, and and everybody and um, I'm happy to be uh, well, you know plug CCW is there anything you want to plug or anything's coming no up? just CCW like we I have, said that's your life CCW. yeah that's yeah. my life right now so we you have make it sound so exotic CCW yeah CCW like, <laughs> it's my home and it's gonna be for the rest of my life I think like, I mean, even wrestling wise CNL and, and CCW yeah. so we should I, also, I, I would never uh, forget about them also plug Twitter a uh, very important yeah. way to communicate with people everybody. At there you go. Ariel underscore Livy and my Instagram is the same and you can check out the dates for CCW wrestling mm -hmm. okay. uh, CCW uh, FL the wrestling dot com I think that's, uh, it's just too complicated for me. So. Yeah, but 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 you can check out all, all the dates in my in my social uh, media, and uh, I'll share it with you. And uh, so, so those of you in the wrestling world and whoever's watching on here, welcome to Ariel Levy. He's out there. He's ready to be booked for horror conventions, uh, wrestling, uh, wrestling, wrestling, wrestling shows, uh, films, uh, uh, Spanish uh, announcing or whatever the commentary. Uh, You're in the right place for yeah. that. There's a so, lot of casting. Oh, I know, I know. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. thank you. Uh, can you add anything you want to say? Before, I want to say, we let this before, poor before we let him go, you did a great job. Oop, as I'm poking the mic around, you did a great job, Gangrel. He's great. For what? Well, You're a good interviewer. Oh, <laughs> yes, I mean, yes, he's I great. Know, I'm, the, I'm the first guest. You should, have, <laughs> you should definitely have more. <laughs> you, yes. Well, You're Raymond phenomenal. says that, but it, I'm, I'm horrible about asking my friends to come on. When are you so. coming to a CCW show? Soon. Now, now uh -huh. I'm asking questions. Yes. I know Nelly was asking about her. Yes, I'll be there once my schedule You should come. You should be a manager up. or something. Well, no, backstage interview. She's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She, you ever heard her sing the anthem? Beautiful singer. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she's, I'll be there, I think, in November. So, all yeah, right. there. Awesome. Very cool. So, I, thank you very no, much for thank coming you here. We're going to take up too much time. a blast. This has been so much fun. Thank you so much. Thank you for, you know... Cool. S spooky month with us. Thank you, my friend. No, thank you. Uh, happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much to Ariel Levy. <laughs> Check out the Green Inferno. Check him out on all his Twitters, Instagrams, or wherever you can find him. And definitely at a local CCW show near you. Uh, that's episode 22, Kick Your Debt. Yes. I think right. we should have him help with the closing out. Not to put you on the spot, but. All right. So, awesome. Yes. Bad enough. Take some. That's episode oh. 22 of Fang and a Bang on Gangro. <laughs> Kick it dead and are great for an area levy. <laughs> you did great. You did great. I didn't know why I was in the I didn't mean. <laughs>